data randomly selected from a normally distributed population with a standard deviation of 1.4 milliliters, calculating a 90% confidence interval. The sample size n is equal to 10. Work out the sample mean, add up the data, and then divide by 10. three thousand three hundred and seven is the sum of all the data divide by n which is ten that will give you a sample mean of three hundred and thirty point seven milliliters sketch the normal distribution marking ninety percent in the center so five percent goes in each tail look up a probability of 0 0.95 because we're working with cumulative probabilities up to this point here the total probability to the left of that line was 95 percent so look up 0 0.95 go to the AQA formula book table 4 page 25 and look up the probability P is equal to 0 0.95 and from this you can work out the Z values that go on the horizontal axis. Okay, so Z is 1.6449, which gives you plus or minus 1.6449 because of the symmetry of the distribution. And Z, uh, Z equals 0 goes in the center. Okay, all of these are Z values. Okay, here's the formula for confidence intervals. It's not given to you in the formula book, so you need to memorize this. Okay, we're looking for an estimate of the population mean. Put the numbers you have into the formula and then use your calculator to work out the two values the lower confidence interval limit and the upper limit of the confidence interval okay so do the calculation with the minus in there first and then repeat it but with the plus so 329.97 if you round that to four significant figures 330.0 milliliters to and then changing the minus to a plus 331.4 milliliters again to four significant figures okay so there you have it the lower limit and the upper limit of the confidence interval